and for me in particular, to leave this nation. Of course, I have to express my profound appreciation to the Agong and the Malay rulers. It is very heartening to see the Malay rulers achieving a consensus very fast indeed to endorse Anwar as the Prime Minister. Of course, I must express my full gratitude, appreciation, love and affection to Aziza and the family, followed by reformists, friends, including from the DAP and Amana Gadilan, for the steadfastness, fighting, struggling together for decades to achieve the change. This is a unity government. It transcends beyond Gadilan or DEP or Amana or Oko or Pakatan Haraman. Our intention is to ensure that we have stability and focus on the economy. And to achieve that end, we are appreciative of the fact that we have now a full commitment from the 30 MPs from Pakistan National. And today, the, chief, the Premier of Sarawak, Jusia Bakduhari, was firm in the commitment that he and the GPS would be part and parcel of the unity government. So we have truly a convincing majority together with other parties like Warisan Muda and the PBM from Gulab. Some have made approaches, including GRS of Sabah, who wanted to come and approach us, discuss with me. I think a very open view. This is a national unity government. All are welcome. On condition, you accept the fundamental rules of good governance, no corruption, and Malaysia for all Malaysians. But I need to reiterate the confusion caused in the midst of the mudslinging and uh, scurrilous attacks during the campaign. That's why I need to reiterate the importance of respecting the constitutional guarantees on Bahasa Melayu, on Islam and the religion of the Federation, on the privileges of the Malaysian people trucks and the position of the many rulers. Notwithstanding, Malaysia is more than six decades old. Every Malaysian, regardless of ethnicity, religious belief or region, particularly Sabah and Sarawak, should be left to feel that they are ignored in any way. None should be marginalized under my administration. And finally, the focus is on the economy. It is reassuring indeed. Today, you have seen the surge in the stock market and the strengthening of the ringgit. Let us now focus on the economy and do whatever it takes to revive so that the welfare of the rakyat, particularly the poor and the marginalized, will be protected. I've also announced that Monday will be public holiday. <laughs> <laughs>